All right, this tutorial will work through using the offset. Uh, actually, no, we'll be using the follow me tool to create a ring. So the basic process is to create a path and then create a surface that will then go around that path. And so let's just get to it. Uh, I'm going to create a circle to start with, and I want it to be uh, approximately the size of the ring that I want. And we'll talk about how to get what we want exactly later. So my, my ring is probably going to be 22 millimeters in diameter. So I'm going to just type in 11 millimeters to start with. 11 millimeters and hit enter. Gives me, let's check it with the tape measure. 22.3, 22 millimeters exactly, which is what we want. So that's my path. I can actually press on the space bar if I want and just delete the middle out here. So you can see it's only a pathway. I'm just going to make a shape and then make it follow around this path. So here we go. I'm going to make a circle now. And what I'm going to do is if I just click now, what happens is it lays down flat. And I don't want that. I actually want it to be on a side view so that if I looked at it from this side angle, that I would see the circle. So to do that, we actually use the keyboard keys. I can go like this. I can turn it sideways and it'll work. Or if I use the keyboard, I can press the left arrow to make it green. The right arrow will make it so that it's a circle perpendicular to the right axis. The left arrow is now perpendicular to the left axis. And the up arrow is now perpendicular to the blue axis. So I'm going to choose the left arrow to make that green. Click on the line there and just drag this out. Maybe just... Uh, Depends how thick you want your ring to be. So I'm going to type in three, actually one point, I'm going to type in, I don't know, how about two millimeters for now. Notice this made it really big. Actually, that's going to be four millimeters across, and that's way too big for a ring. So I'm going to Control Z that. Try it again. Circle, left arrow, click again. So I'm going to push one millimeter and hit Enter. And that's going to give me a two millimeter thick ring, which is probably a reasonable amount. I might want three, but let's start with two and see how it turns out. The next thing I want to do is to shape this. So let's just have a look quickly and show you what it does. Um, with this shape right here, I'd actually like to move it out so that that edge touches there. So let's go over that again. I have my circle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click so that I just pick that outside edge and make it blue. Press M for move. Click on the inside edge and bring that out until it locks in with this. I can bring it all the way out if I want, but what I want to do is lock it into that point on the circle. And so to show you the process here, what I'm going to do is just click on this, this path, choose the follow me option, click on the other surface, and for some reason it never works the first time. So do that all again, spacebar select, follow me, click on the face, and now you can see that I have a ring. It's not going to be a very comfortable ring, but it's a ring. So I'm just going to press Control Z and do that again. Only this time I'm going to change my, f my, my face here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press S for select, and then click on the surface if I haven't already. And to make this skewed so that it's nice, it's going to be more like a ring shape, I'm going to pull on the middle part here. Notice if I pull here, it only dr pulls it up the w on this one side, but not on both sides. What I can do to, to make it go evenly on both sides is to click up here, hold down Control, and now drag it, and it goes nice and even. And I can decide how big I want this to be. So you decide what look you'd like. And then we go back. Again, press the space bar to select. Choose the path. Find that Follow Me tool. Click on the surface. And now I've got a ring. It's actually a pretty good looking ring. And that. I can send in for printing. And so that's just how you can make a basic ring. And you can add shapes to it and bring them and make them touch here and all that. But uh, this one's pretty good. If you want to double check it, we could, yeah, no, just save it. And then you can download it and send that to me and we'll uh, get that in your hands. We'll see if we can.